Thanks for turning to Somali European International Community Partners. It's great to see you all here again um, for this important uh, occasion. Um, we are handing over today um, equipment. Some of it is already in use of the police, and that's good. My understanding is that out here we have a few vehicles so that you can see in concrete terms. Um, this handover uh, process and the use of the vehicles. But let me start out by saying, um, by underscoring the role of UMAS uh, and our support to UMAS, which has now been completed. I attended several uh, events regarding UMAS, and every time it was some sort, some sort of break, uh, groundbreaking ceremony, every time it was a first timer. I remember when, for example, they cleared the port here in Mogadishu. When uh, um, Mogadishu was declared mine free, uh, there was, uh, but perhaps what I, I have admired the most in our work with UMAS is the groundbreaking work they've done in the regions. And I'm glad the Deputy SRSG is here because it very much set the standard for many to follow, including uh, from the UN side. This was three, four years ago, not now, when it was even more difficult. They, they were really out there. And in uh, finding, we see this a little bit today, they have focused um, very much in building Somali capacities, and I'm glad that the EOD team of the, of the police um, has been here. And in some areas, we, we've been talking about exit and transition strategies, which really shows um, they have been making a difference in the ground. Um, to this project, of course, the EU will be handing over uh, the equipment for your sensitive and your operational duties. Let's be clear here, it's not at this point, it's more of a symbolic um, handover. Um, it consists of uh, a craft boat, radios, um, over a hundred radios, four armored vehicles, three pickup trucks, sta satellite phones, driving equipment, EOD equipment and so on. Uh, but, but I would say this is to some extent the tip of the iceberg. Uh, we also wanted to hand over uh, to the action, I'm glad that the representative of your Captain Nestor uh, is here, um, further equipment to the police through, uh, through EU Captain Nestor. This includes 35 vehicles which are currently in Djibouti and we're trying to find a way to get them here and office equipment. So. But I hope we will have a further ceremony when they, when they will arrive. But as I said, this support is, I would say, symbolic to the broader EU commitment and engagement in support of the police. We are with you, we can count on us. Huh? Um, interestingly, I was in Istanbul and one of the issues that emerged in Istanbul was uh, the World Bank UN um, expenditure, uh, security expenditure review. One of the, the conclusions is that all of us should be supporting even more the police. We cannot have an SNA all over Somalia, that's why it has to be sustainable and the balance should perhaps shift towards the police. I think it's, it's Quite, um, that is quite clear, and from the side of the EU, you know, we remain and continue to be uh, the largest uh, the donor for the, the, the UN you know, law program, police stipends, we have EU cap master increasing engagement with the police, and we have our special advisor back there, the Colonel Stefan Dragani, who is in the middle of all this and very much at your, at your disposal. Um, um, uh, Deputy SRG, in our discussions with Michael Keating, he has stressed the, the coordination role of the UN in this area, which we fully support, of course, and um, we are encouraged uh, in this respect by the creation of the Police Professional Development Board and the Police Project Coordination Cell, and look forward to working closely with these bodies. So t overall, today is a good day for the police, but it's still operating in a very difficult environment. So it's, it faces continuous threats and, uh, and at the same time it is the key to, to some extent to respond at the community level also to our Shabaab and ensure law and order and increase human security for all the people of Somalia. 
Um, Deputy, as, as, as she, you have um, underscored the, uh, the work being undertaken to define a new policing model for the country and the ongoing discussions between the federal and the regional authorities. We're welcome and we look forward to, to be able to engage in this and see in what way we can support the new Somalia police. Um, I also finally uh, take this opportunity, and I just had a meeting earlier with the Minister of Finance where I underscored that once again, um, the importance of salaries. I mentioned this Minister, at all levels, we, are, we provide most of the stipends, as you know, but that is not enough. Uh, General Bashir just earlier told me you, you got one month, but that's I think from a year ago. You know. This is something you have budgeted, I think, significant resources compared to last year. This is something really which is essential to keep your police motivated and, and focused on their duties. So. Uh, and it's ultimately the duty of the government to, to do so. Finally, dear um, police commissioner, it is, uh, I just want to really to, to acknowledge the huge sacrifices of your people, the men and women that you lose on a daily basis. It's, um, it's a remarkable job that you're doing in very difficult um, conditions, and I think I put the opportunity very much to salute all of the men and women in the police force.